Good morning, everybody. We're on our way to the Badlands today, but first we're going to make a stop at the famous Wall Drug. I thought this was kind of funny. Wall is known as the geographical center of nowhere. Today, Wall Drug consists of a whole city block where you can find dining, shopping, gifts, and souvenirs. It's pretty cool. It's estimated that more than 2 million visitors stop at Wall Drug each year. This is Main Street in Wall, and there's the Wall Drug Store. During the Depression days, Ted and Dorothy Houston, they struggled to make Wall Drug successful. So they came up with this idea to offer weary travelers free ice water, and they still do that today. This is where you get your free ice water. And when you're browsing the shops inside, you get a whiff of the donuts they're making from scratch. Oh my gosh, I couldn't resist. It was delicious. I could have spent a whole lot more time there looking around. They have a lot of cool, neat souvenirs there, and they're a really good price too. But we had to get back on the road. That sign said launch facility. Uh, yeah. When we saw the sign for the launch facility, we knew we had to stop. I, I'm guessing that's over the Minuteman on the left. Maybe, yeah. Uh, so. We're gonna, if that's the Minuteman on the left, we'll go over there to the Minuteman to glance, and then we'll go to the Badlands. This is the Minuteman Missile National Historic Site. During the Cold War, our military had a vast arsenal of nuclear missiles placed in the Great Plains. Hidden in plain sight for 30 years, a thousand missiles were kept underground. Hundreds remain today. <laughs> the Minuteman National Historic Site protects two facilities that were once a part of a Minuteman missile field that covered the far western portion of South Dakota from 1963 through the early 1990s. There were 15 launch facilities that controlled 150 missile silos. This park preserves two of these. They do have some tours available of the launch facility. Prior arrangements are needed. This is a, a really neat stop. I found it really interesting. Uh, we were on our way to the Badlands and it's just right off the highway. That museum inside there was not very big. There was a lot of people in there. Well worth the stop, so we're going to get back on the road. Site. I'm just going to drive in there and take a look. Built in 1909, this building is one of the last remaining original sod homes intact today. It sits a half mile north of Badlands National Park. Look at all the prairie dogs. This prairie homestead was a really cool stop. They have these rare white prairie dogs that stayed busy munching on grass the whole time we were there. They were super cute. Now on to the Badlands. Uh, 
This is the big Badlands overlooking Cliff Shelf. These views were so amazing and all the different colors are so pretty. One thing you might need to know, pets are not allowed on any of the trails. We weren't affected by this, but you might be, so I thought I'd mention it. We made a stop at the Ben Rifle Visitor Center. This next stop is the Fossil Exhibit Trail. It was okay. I think the kids probably would like it better than I did, though. <laughs> this trail still had some really amazing views. is this that we're on here? Uh, Badlands Loop. The Badlands Loop. So, it's been pretty. It's nice. Nice drive. Plenty of places to pull over. Yeah, there's a lot of overlooks. A lot of trails to hike. Just before we were leaving the park, we noticed a lot of people off on the Sage Creek Rim Road. We stopped, and I'm so glad we There's did. An animal there. Oh, okay. That's what it is. <laughs> a big one sheep. Yeah. So I just thought I'd let you get a picture. There were a bunch of bighorn sheep on the hillsides. You could barely see them because they blended in with the surroundings. But it was really cool to stop and see. This was definitely an exciting way to end our visit. We're back on the road to Rapid City. Thanks so much for joining us on our adventure today. We'll catch up with you later. Take care. Bye.